Hi, my name's Chris Rose, I'm a Fox Consultant. Today I want to talk to you about the safety lead clip. It's probably one of the most uh, thought about item and the most essential item in your tackle box nowadays. But I still find there are people that don't quite understand in the way they should actually work. Basically, with our safety clip, we have a little pin on the side. And that means <coughs> that you can actually lock that swivel into place. With that swivel in, locked in place, you can then put your lead on the clip and put your tail rubber down on the back of the clip on the serrations. And you can determine how easy or how hard you want that lead to release from that clip if it ever gets snagged. Even with that tail rubber just nicked on the back, because when you're casting, all the weight is going forward, you will not lose that lead unless it gets snagged. Right. What would happen with like other clips? If that swivel was to come out and that lead was snagged, basically what would happen is you would have that lead snagged there, the fish is trying to go away from you, and you're having a tug of war with the fish backwards and forwards through this clip and through this rubber until eventually the line would snap, losing the fish. And that fish basically could be like a 30, maybe even a 40 pounder, depending on the venue you're fishing. But with the swivel locked in place and the rubber just nicked on the back, that would hit a snag, the fish would still try and carry on getting away from you as you're playing it, the lead would drop off, okay, you've lost the lead. And you might be saying, yeah, okay, you're trying to sell more leads, but at the end of the day, if I lost the lead, which what cost me one pound forty, but landed a carp of forty pound, I'd be extremely happy, and I think that's a uh, very little cost for what you could potentially catch.